So as I sit here in my office, my new office, I wanted to um, just do a brief uh, recap of my personal exodus story. Now, a couple of years ago, I'd been in a position, uh, executive position for 14 years that I loved. And I always had dreams of owning my own business, but um, I kind of let those kind of fade away because I had a job I really cared about. I worked for my buddy. It was close to home. It was in the fitness industry. I got to see my kids. It was just, uh, I had a lot of responsibility. Unfortunately, my buddy passed away and the company was sold and I left the company voluntarily and got another job at another place. It was good pay, a good job, but I just wasn't happy there. And my wife and I had been talking and praying about this for a few years. And um, the uh, we at one point in a, kind of a low point, my wife was just like, we were, you know, on top of that, we felt the need, we didn't really feel connected to Massachusetts and Boston anymore. It's just weather, the cost of living, the pace of life. I love the people up there, but just those things just kind of weighed on us. And everyone we know was either moving away or unfortunately passing away. And so we had no connections up there anymore. So my wife and I were just prayerfully for like the last year looking at job opportunities around the country. And we kept coming back to this place down south, this one town. And... Um, uh, we found a business, uh, and that kind of uh, dream I had of owning my own business kind of was rekindled. And um, long story short, over the past, over a couple of years, prayerfully considering things, we put an offer on a very small business, self storage, U haul, do some other odds and ends, nothing fancy. It's it's ironic. I went from like this executive position to this, and I just love it. Anyway, so we put an offer in, and just we're going back and forth. It was contingent on selling our house. There's so many things that had to line up. And um, we were within like 15 grand of each other. And I just couldn't, I, I'm like, Karen, we have to put a line in the sand. We can't force this to happen. We have to make sure it's, you know, um, we're praying about it. And uh, a friend of mine is like, listen, 15 grand is small potatoes. Uh, God can make that up. You know, you, you, if you should just take, you need to take a step of faith. And I was like, okay. So, and again, even if the business was 50 grand over, what we were asking, what we were willing to pay. It was still a good deal. Um, so we just couldn't really afford it. But we took that step for that last 15 grand, um, made an offer contingent upon selling our house, which is kind of rare that people would accept that. He accepted it, the business owner, and our house sold for 20 grand over asking price. Uh, and we've just had miracle after miracle line up. It wasn't smooth sailing. I mean, the move itself was hard and, this, and so many logistics uh, were a grind, but a lot of things miraculously um, happened. So here we are down south, um, and just, it's ironic. I'll wash cars, I'll pick up trash, I'm weed whacking the property, but we own a business, it's ours, and I get to bring my children to work with me. I'll put up a picture of uh, one of my dreams here. It's just my daughter sleeping in the breakout room next to my office. It's just a dream. I mean, I grew up, my dad worked three jobs to put food on the table, and my mom would take us to see him at work at night um, as a security guard, so we just could see our father. And I don't want—I want my children to be sick of seeing me by the time they get older. And so we've just had so many mini miracles line up. Even today, I'm driving out of the driveway to come to work, and I have not too much lined up. And I just threw a prayer up, like God, please send me some work. I show up, and this guy comes screeching in the driveway, saying, "Can you detail my truck?" And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. You know, 150 bucks later, I, I got some work. Then a lady just showed up to rent a self-storage unit. And um, it's great. And as you can see, my novels are behind me. And I'm hoping this will allow uh, not only time with family, but some time to um, write as well. So, again, um, we got out of the rat race, slower pace of life. The weather's great. Uh, the cost of living is great. We just wanted to slow down. It's not so much like trying to get off the grid. We eventually would like to buy a property with some land and have some chickens and kind of migrate towards getting off the grid. But as of right now, we're renting a house. And again, that whole thing was a miracle because no one has properties for rent down here because property is so cheap. But we did find a house a couple miles down the road from work. And um, we're just, uh, I'm just so thankful every day uh, for this blessing. And it's just ironic. I, I've ripped up my resume and um, I'm perfectly happy uh, you know, washing cars and renting out self-storage units and U-Hauls and nothing fancy, but it pays the bill. It's an honest living, and I get to see my kids every single day. So that's my 
uh, quick recap of my personal Exodus story. Thanks for staying with me.